Folks, welcome to a special Sunday edition of Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, I am your tired DM, but you know what? I'm here and I have got a treat for you. Uh, before Murder Hobo Inc., we had Minions of Habu. These guys were kind enough to bring me in to DM them, uh, and they are so desperate for entertainment that they've gone through all the other DMs. And I'm the last one left. So today we're going to go ahead and do a special show. Uh, and we're going to kind of carry over. If you ever saw Minions of Habu, we're just going to keep the old game going. Only these guys are going to be at third level. We're going to have them introduce themselves as who they are and who they're playing. And I got to be frank with you. There's a lot of Franks on this screen. Uh, so we will start with Robert of Zeppelin, a.k.a. Other Frank. Uh, who are you and who are you playing? And I think his screen is locked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll wait for him to unlock and we'll go with senior Frank. Uh, Frank, who are you playing? I'm playing uh, a druid named Leaf. And you are not very one. original, but it was easy to come up with. I'm Frank Senior. And I'm, we're bouncing is what we're doing. Okay, uh, let's go with Felix the Rogue. Who are you and who are you playing? AJ, sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, I'm AJ and I'm playing Felix the Rogue. He's a notorious gambler that doesn't have good luck sometimes. <laughs> we shall see how he does this time. We uh, shall see. Uh, Jason, uh, go ahead and tell us who you're playing tonight. I'm playing Copius Volbitters the third, uh, the heir to a brewing empire. He's a a gnome. A gnome. Rogue, which something like that. General troublesome player. Uh, and Nicholas, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, um, I'm playing a halfling rogue named Haggis Crapstein. Clever name. <laughs> you know what? I like that one. Uh, okay, now we have uh, Other Frank and Noodle. Uh, guys, who are you guys playing? I'm playing Robert of Zeppelin, a half-orc bard. Frankie? Who I'm Noodle, or Manfang. That's my other name. Oh, I'm that's a dragonborn right. fighter. Fighter. I forgot, I forgot you were Thank a man fang. Uh, folks at home, uh, these guys actually went through a, a very intense process of eliminating the minions of Habu, a group of cultists in the city of Cragwich, uh, after successfully going ahead and crushing through and finding out little bits of secrets of their colleagues. Uh, they were heralded as heroes for putting an end to the plague that was affecting the Dworkin district of Cragwich. Uh, with their fame came a little bit of money and a whole lot more problems in the form of, shall we say, stalkers and not the really good kind uh, in their time since eliminating the Habu cultists they have discovered that A, they have not gotten rid of all of them, and B, it's time for them to get a change of scenery, and they have opted to leave the major city of Cragwich on the way out into the frontier. The eastern road takes them to the crossroads, which is where they will then decide where to go. Uh, gentlemen, because we don't have any ladies this time, uh, are you ready to go? <clears throat> An hour into your journey, uh, your feet are starting to get sore, and everybody give me a perception check, please. Ten. Add your perception. I got, I got 18. <laughs> you did crap. Uh, I got four. Six? Fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen? And Leaf? Thirteen. Uh, Noodle, the dragonborn, a.k.a. Manfang, turns around and notices a cloud of dust headed this way. Uh, he also notices that that cloud of dust is going to pass by some pilgrims 
that have also opted to leave the city of Cragwich. Uh, gentlemen, the uh, horsemen are quickly approaching you. Now, knowing that uh, you left Cragwich under, shall we say, unusual circumstances, what would you like to do about these riders headed for you? Arm myself. I think I'm just gonna back away and pull like have my hand on like my my uh heavy heavy great sword, axe great axe just to be ready. So I got two people arming themselves. Uh, Frank, what was the environment like? Are is this fairly clear cut, or are there woods, trees? What is this? Has, it's is flat it land. Flat land. Oh, great. Okay. But grassland. Uh, enough to hide a gnome on either side of the trail. The trail is well-worn and used by many merchants and many travelers. Well, I, I uh, make sure my, my dagger is uh, readily available, but I'm gonna stand right on the side of the road as a proud scion of the Volbitter's fortune. Okay. Uh, Felix and Jason and Leaf, what do you wanna do? I'm just gonna stand on the side of the road also. Keep an eye on them. I'm going to kind of stand on the side of the road, but look around, just, you know, look to my left, look to my right a little bit, see what I can see. The horsemen approach you guys, and the leader of the troop puts up his hand, and the horse troop stops. You notice that uh, from their insignias on their tunics, these are the Uplorian cavalry. Uploria is the spot where Cragwich is at. So this must be the local military coming in. Uh, fortunately, uh, despite an initial poor reception with the military in Cragwich, you guys have gotten along well with them. Uh, the horsemen uh, appear and ask what you're doing. Who wants to talk to them? We're just wandering from this city to that. Just moving along. Okay. Anybody else? I know Copius is hiding in the the high weeds. Uh, they do notice that Robert of Zeppelin and Noodle are fondling the halves of their weapons. So they are somewhat curious. Uh, but since you haven't taken any aggressive action, uh, one of them looks at you and he looks at... Felix, the rogue, and he goes, don't I know you from somewhere? I'm sliding away. I, I'm going to step out of the bushes like I just hiked up my uh, breeches and uh, say, and uh, introduce myself and, and welcome them and say, uh, you know, hello, glad to see you. Uh, how are things going for you? We're just on our way. We have left to conclude our business, left the city. I'm going to totally BS my way through the entire conversation to the extent possible. We're just travelers. These are the bodyguards. I'm conducting some business on behalf of my father relative to our brewery. Now we're moving to another town to see if we can secure uh, merchant rights to uh, for our brewery to uh, haul ale. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, one of the guards is looking at you and he's he he knows you from somewhere. He's our St. Paulie's girl. He's our, he wears a dress and he advertises our beer. He goes around, gets his bustier on and says, hey, hey, do you want some beer? You know, and he sells it. That's why he looks so familiar. It is possible, yes. I do come from a long line of uh, St. Paulie's Paulie girls. No, no, that's not it. Perhaps you know You're me from a gambler. Ah. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have been known to partake in the uh, gambletory arts from time to time. D12 against me, please. Nine. I think I beat you in a hand of poker not a fortnight ago, didn't I? Uh, probably. I Poker's not my normal game, but I have been known to dabble. The captain of the watch shakes his head, uh, doesn't approve of the gambling, and goes, okay, well, enjoy your peace. We understand that there have been some goblin raids along the King's Road, so we bid you farewell and be careful. 
they ride off. Uh, the pilgrims are coming up behind you, silent as a church mouse, walking into your group. Uh, do you allow them to pass, or do you want to harass these poor individuals? Something smells funny. <laughs> Just saying. Wasn't me at this time. The leader of the group nods. Uh, he has a hood over his face, but you can clearly see his features. Nothing appears unusual. Blessed be with you and your travels, my friends. End upon you, sir. Thank you. Uh, they stop, and they uh, the leader approaches Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, where might you be going, if I may ask? Wherever the wind may take me, for I serenade all with my voice and my music of the Lord. Never should talk to the bard. Never should talk to him. Uh, he says, did you have an altercation with the warriors? No, no, just a few questions as what has happened in our past. Ah. They just didn't realize who we were. What happened to the ex? As I recall, aren't you the heroes of Dworkin District? We're bodyguards for the uh, 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 brewery. Hmm. I thought you were the heroes of Dworkin. Everybody initiative. <laughs> yeah. 16. 13. 19. 1, 9. 20 for the young lad. Jason and Leaf. Five. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. That's just sad. Uh, the pilgrims rip off their robes, and each of you recognizes the insignia of Habu on their uh, shirts. It's got to be a fight. Uh, I will take the 21st. Noodle, you have first crack at these guys. There is one on each of you. Nicholas, what's your character's name again? I'm going to battle axe him. Haggis crap stain. <laughs> this dice here. Yeah. Dice is a metric ton, ton son. It, it does weigh a lot, okay? <laughs> They're made of metal. So you're going to roll this dice, and then you're going to add your plus seven to whatever you roll. I can't see that dice. Six. So 13. Six, 13. 13. Uh, 13 is good enough to hit. Ooh. You got son. What do I roll? Where one die twelve. One die twelve. Yeah. No. Three no. Three yes. Three. Yes. One die twelve. Then add. Okay, well, it's a good thing you've got some slashing or plus on there. Plus five. Plus five. Seven. Seven points. <laughs> Heavy hitter. Uh, <laughs> next up is the nineteen. Felix the Rogue was also ready for some combat. Okay, I'm gonna. Pull out two of my short swords, one in either hand, and let's give it a roll and see what happens. Ooh. 21. Hits. The AC on all these guys is 12. Doesn't matter who you got, it's AC 12. Now I'm wielding two short swords. Did both of those hit, or do I roll 2d20 for them? 2d20, oh, one okay. for each. Yeah, the other one was a 10, so that one did not hit. So one of them hit. Gotcha. With nine damage. That works. Uh, next up is the 18. Uh, crap stain. I uh, take out my short dagger and or short sword and I attack. Go ahead. 19. Hits. D6. Mm hmm. D6 Six. plus strength modifier. Eight. Very nice. Uh, 16 is up next. Uh, that would be Robert of Zeppelin. Got it. <laughs> I didn't hit. <laughs> I'm done. I rolled a three plus seven. Well, 
Well, you almost hit uh, Man Fang in the back of the head, but it clings off his armor uh, and bounces away uselessly. Next up is Copious V Bitters. Dirty 20, and I did five points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, next up, it is the Minions of Habu. Uh, we will start with Felix the Rogue, and your uh, opponent is also wielding two short swords. Uh, and with a two and a four, I don't think I need to go further. Uh, Haggis Crapstain. Uh, <laughs> Yours is also wielding two short swords. Uh, 19 and a 15. Do those hit? They do not. Nice. Uh, copious V bitters. Yours is only swinging a long, or I'm sorry, a mace. Uh, does a 16 get you? It does. Okay. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, same thing, a mace. Uh, does an 18 get you? Of course it does. Dang it. Noodle. Uh, 10. Does a 10 get you? Nope. And Leaf the Druid. Uh, 13. Okay, if you got hit, which I think is just Robert and Copious, uh, you take six hit points of damage. Uh, next up is... Leaf, the druid. Space bar, father. There Space bar doesn't work. Now we can hear you. Just a 10. Swing and a miss. We go back to the top of the order with uh, Man Fang. An attack again. What'd you roll? 13 plus. 14's good enough. Right here. It's 20. 20. Now roll it's... this. Roll. What is it? One plus five. So six points. Six points. I got yeah, not, not bad. You're That's chopping good. away at them. Good strength. Uh, next up is Felix the Rogue. 11 and a six. Uh, swing and a miss times two. No good. 18. Uh, Haggis, you're up. Five. Five? Whew. That, that smells putridly. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, you're up. Three, again. Are you, are you dice cursed or something? I think so. It's because he's denning the table up with these metal freaking logs he's rolling over here. Mine are not rolling right. They are heavy. Copious V bitters, you're up. Uh, can can I cast Hellish Rebuke on the guy that hit me? Sure. All right. You can do that as a reaction. Oh, I can? I don't have to wait till an attack round? So if I could attack and then... I, I'm sorry, you aren't a tiefling. Yeah, you, yes, you can cast Hellish Rebuke. Okay, sorry. I'm going to try to cast Hell, Hellish Rebuke. I failed miserably, I believe. Nine. Uh, yes. <laughs> you did. Uh, and that brings them to bear. So, on Felix, uh, double 18s add four 22s. Where, whereas yeah. you, yeah, whereas you have choked, uh, he is not. Haggis. Uh, four and a two. I don't even have to do modifiers there. Copious. Uh, 12. Robert. Nat, 20. Robert. Noodle. Uh, 12. I don't think 12 gets noodle. And leaf. Uh, nine plus, uh, four is 13. Uh, so the... Did I get anyone besides Felix? Okay. Natural 20. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, 
Oranges for Felix, green for Robert. Uh, Felix takes 10. By the way, uh, each of you will have one potion of healing and one potion of extra healing. The healing is 1 8 or 1d8 plus 2. Uh, the other is 2d8 plus 4. No ones if you need to use it. Uh, Robert, you took one hit point in a glancing blow, and that brings us to Leaf, the druid. You're up. And you're muted. Um, what's the attack bonus come off of? Strength. Yeah, my strength's 10. I don't think I've got one. 12. Uh, 12 is good enough to hit. Oh, boy. I hope you're happy that you're hitting another human being. Oh, I am. I am so delighted. Uh, be four and three, seven. Not bad. Top of the order, man fang. Up to you. Hey, then. Seven plus seven. Seven is 14. 14. And then we do my 12 side. Five. Oh, 15, 15 points of damage. Uh, that is good enough to knock you. That is good enough to knock your <laughs> damn dog. Uh, that is good enough to knock yours unconscious. Uh, we move up to Felix. Twenty-two and eighteen. Both hit. Frank, I, I misspoke on the damage I did. It was four, not seven. That plus three was an attack bonus. Oh, my bad. I do eight and five damage. Uh, Felix, you have also knocked yours unconscious as well. Uh, next up is Haggis. Crap stain. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> oh. How many people are left? Uh, uh, you have one. Uh, Robert has one. Manfang has nobody. Leaf has one. And Copious has one. So everybody but Felix and Noodle have somebody on them. Okay. We'll Mine's completely that. healthy, just to know. You know, if you start adding all of your attack bonuses by next round, I think you're going to hit the guy. <laughs> Maybe. Well, with an average of three. <laughs> and that's your math lesson for the day, boys and girls. How'd you do, Haggis? I got an 18. That hits. How much damage? Five. Still alive. Uh, Haggis had the 18. That brings us to 16. Robert of Zeppelin. Sorry, now my space bar doesn't work. Uh, I hit with the 22 and hit for nine points. Whew, did you faint? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. So excited, it broke my space bar. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Felix, nobody on you. Haggis, your guy still gets two attacks. Uh, who? yeah. 23 and 16. Does the 16 get you? Uh, 23 does. Okay, so just one. Uh, Copious, you still have one? Yeah, that's a three, so that's going to be a no-go. Robert? Uh, 13 plus four is 17. Dang it! <laughs> yes, by one, you got me. And Leaf. That's a no-go with a seven. Uh, for those of you who have been struck, Robert and uh, Haggis, Six hit points of damage as they start to wheel and deal on you. Leaf the Druid, you're up. Well, 
12. 12 hits. Uh, four. Better than nothing. <laughs> Top of the order. Noodle, uh, your foe is down. Uh, you may finish him off or go ahead and assist one of your colleagues. Kill it. Kill it. Fine. Bad influence. I'll kill, kill it. I'm killing him, okay? Back off, man. I don't take any roll to hit, correct? Correct. It's coup de gras. Just, just damage. Blood, Chop his head off. Crush his skull. Thirsty. Whoa. Pretty good. That's seven plus five. Twelve. Oh, there you go. I don't think they're going to recognize that guy unless he's taller. That's him. That's the guy <laughs> right there. Uh, next up is... Close enough to our namesake, you know? That's true. Felix, uh, <laughs> same with you. Your guy is down, unconscious, sawing wood, snoring, getting ready for the dirt nap. What do you want to do? Leave him be and help somebody else or cut him? Yeah, I'm going to leave him be and I'm going to turn to the guy on... Uh, Zeppelin, mm -hmm. if I'm standing next to him or near him. You're close enough. Close enough? All right. I'm going to start swinging at uh, his offender. Remember, if you roll a natural one, you hit your buddy. Please roll a natural one. I did not roll a natural one. Uh, 14 and an 11. So one of them hit? Yep. One hits, one misses. And it does five damage. Chopping him down. Uh, Haggis. Crap stain. <laughs> you still have your guy on there, and your guy gets two attacks. Now mine doesn't hit spacebar. Fourteen. <laughs> it, it. That's a hit. It's a virus. That's why Zoom is so unreliable, apparently. Uh, seven damage. Almost there. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin. See if you can finish your guy off. Who am I standing next to? Uh, that would be Felix the Rogue or Noodle the <laughs> Slayer. Uh, so you, make can, the roll. <laughs> you can do odds Felix, even Noodle if you want. Oh, what? This is not... He was doing a swirling blade attack. It may have hit both. What'd you say was odd? Felix the Rogue, do your damage, right, but then cut it in half. You should have just stayed where you were and killed the guy, like I said. I'm Thanks trying to get through this fight as quickly as possible. Yeah. Ooh. Dang. Ooh, okay, uh, that is 11 cut in half. I did uh, five and a half points of damage. Five Killing round down. <laughs> Copious V bitters, uh, the blood of your associate Felix splatters across your face uh, as Robert of Zeppelin's aim is not quite true, but you're up. And uh, how many feet away from him am I? Uh, from him, you're on the other side of Felix. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do Eldritch Blast at the guy in front of me. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, Dirty 23. I think I hit yep. with that one. Oh, yeah, you got him. Six points. Uh, hey, you hit him. <laughs> uh, nobody on Felix. Uh, Haggis gets two. Uh, eight I'm on and, Felix. Eight and two. Yeah, you're you're gonna have Get to off, dig Felix. your blade out of him. Uh, Copius. Uh, no, eight plus four is twelve. Robert. Seven plus four is eleven. Uh, nobody is on Manfang and Leaf. Five plus four is nine. Leaf, you are up, uh, and your guy's still fairly healthy. Sixteen. Hits. Uh, five points. You're chopping him down. Top of the order, Man Fang. After witnessing uh, the decapitation of your foe, followed by Robert of Zeppelin whacking your associate, what would you like to do? I recommend so getting I, away. I'm just, I'm just gonna, for now, I'm just gonna loot the body. Is that okay? Can I do that? <laughs> yeah, sure. That is all right. I'm doing that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Felix the Rogue, uh, after you dig Robert's blade out of your face, what would you like to do? I think I'm gonna back away from Robert and uh, I'm gonna go take a few steps back and try to 
regain my composure. Fair enough. You got to take a potion. Yes. Uh, what were my options for potions? Uh, 1d8 plus 2 or 2d8 plus 4. Uh, Reroll any ones that you have. Uh, next up, that brings us to Haggis, the crap stain. 18. Yep. Six. Haggis's foe also falls. Uh, Copious V, or I'm sorry, uh, Robert of Zeppelin, who are you going to hit this time? Hopefully the right person. Else. You're going to have to chase somebody down to whack them. <laughs> well, my guy's right there still, isn't he? Or did I knock him down? Yeah, he's still there, but, you know, why Why bother? Yeah, it's not him? one! <laughs> Uh, it is 16. I hit. Yep. Ooh, full damage, too. Uh, that is 14. He is down. Excuse me. It was 13, not 14. Still down. He only had four left. Uh, next up is me. Uh, I have Copious and Leaf. Uh, let's see what I do. Fight on. Fight on. Okay, Copious, you're orange, Leaf, you're green. Because it's easier to remember. Ugh. Uh, 17 to Copious and 6 to Leaf. Uh, does the 17 get you? I, I'm sorry, did you say 17? Yes. Holy crap. Okay. No, 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 no. To hit. Oh, who? <laughs> like... <laughs> No, the only one that does that kind of damage is Robert when he's mad at you, apparently. <laughs> okay, yeah, 17 hits me. Okay. Uh, only four damage. <laughs> uh, Leaf, you still got somebody on you. Yeah, five. I didn't think I hit him. Okay, top of the order. Uh, Man oh, Fang. Hey. Hey. Did I not let you go yet? You didn't let me go yet. Uh, my bad. Go ahead. You, you were so play. excited for attacking me again. I, you know, <laughs> I was just so thrilled that Haggis Crapstain killed somebody. I rolled a one. Oh, that gives you Felix or Robert. Odd Felix, even Robert. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm pretty sure I stepped back. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped back. You, you know what? Steps, that, that's right. He, he did say he took several steps back. You're going for me, Robert. though. It. It uh, was. I'll, I will give you uh, one to two leaf, three to four Jason, or I'm sorry, three to four uh, crap stain, five to six Robert of Zeppelin. Those are your choices. Crap stain. Crap stain it is. That's what he's making. Yes, Felix, you did manage to step out of the way. Two hit. Is that halved or is that full? No, that was total spell blast. Uh, one hit point of damage to crap stain. Uh, leaf, yeah, leaf, you still need to go, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, you're at top of the order now. I, yeah, I, oh. oh, I'm at the top of the order now. <laughs> what? Uh, no, if he went, no, I went. Remember, I had a five. Yeah, that's right. Copious is throwing me off. It's that damn halfling crap. Uh, it's not a halfling. <laughs> <laughs> He's in whatever he is. <laughs> uh, Noodle, you find 15 gold pieces and a reward poster. I believe that's pronounced genome, isn't it? <laughs> I got a uh, double helix tattoo on my arm. That's, that is what you found last round. What would you like to do this round? Go ahead and tell. I already get it. I, already I think I'm going to help my dad. Or did he already finish them all? Noodle, I did mine. All right. Yeah, Noodle, he's done. Is everybody dead? No, we've got one on Copious and one on Leaf. Oh, Leaf. Nobody likes Copious. <laughs> it's all right. Just wait till you get the, you know, pox. Go ahead and uh, attack Leaf's uh, foe for me. Right, you got to attack person. Don't fumble. I can't read it. Was that three? Yeah, it's three. No, that's a 10. You didn't make it. Nah, it's a 10. 
Uh, up to Felix the Rogue. Uh, you feel refreshed, I assume, from your quaffing of your potion. Would you like to rejoin the fight after watching copious whack uh, crap stain in the face? <laughs> no. I'm going to go back to the first person that I knocked down. I assume he's still unconscious. He is. And I'm going to pat him down and see what he, see what I find. Fair enough. Uh, him down with a knife. And, and for what it's worth, I regained five health from my potion. Fair enough. Uh, Haggis, uh, you are up. You don't have an opponent. Copious V. Bitters, who just struck you, does, as does the Druid Leaf. Okay. I pick up the crap stain that was flung due to the Copious, and I uh, defend him with... Uh, Boo! <laughs> so uh, I will roll disadvantage against Copious if you are going to take the defensive stance for him. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, who are you going to hit? It's it's really a crap shoot. Well, since I'm the crap is way, I'm going to go the other way towards the leaf, the leafy bug. Fair enough. <laughs> Hit I'm sorry, Dad. I rolled with him. <laughs> Let me just say, but you jerk. You're. I don't think you're even fighting the enemy. If, uh, if you guys even, wore colors that he could identify with, it, he's it, not fighting the enemy. He's just trying to get the extra. I rolled a. Uh, well, cut it in half. I rolled five point five again, so we'll roll down to a five. Yeah. Leaf, you take one from behind. <laughs> Sorry for your luck. Uh, that comes to Copious V. Bitters. Copious. Not going to screw this one up this time. Uh, 19. So I hit with that one. Easily hit. And you even hit a bad guy. I Right? I get experience either way, though, right? 10 points. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that gives him a little bit of pain, and that's going to cause him to roll. Uh, again, Copious and Leaf. Fight on, they say. So, Copious and Leaf, attack rolls. Uh, two and a four. Uh, apparently, their loss of hit points is causing them uh, poor marksmanship. And that brings us to Leaf. Leaf, uh, you're getting a love tap from behind. You're getting a love tap from the front. Your guy probably missed you because Robert was able to skewer you and drop you. To your I knees. saved your life, man. Saved how, many, your life. how many points did Robert do in my back? I didn't catch that. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, 15. That hits. Seven. Almost done. Top of the order. Uh, man Fang, what do you want to do? Mm, I'm going to try and strike that one enemy that's attacking Leaf again. Well, I'm going to try. One, 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 one. No, no, no. He hit. I don't have to look. I can see 13. What's that? 20? 20? Not 20. Damn. Where's that bird coming from? Oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> and nine. Nine for damage. Nine uh, Leaf, your uh, combatant is now down and bleeding profusely from his brow. Uh, that brings us over to Felix. Felix, everybody's hitting everybody in here. Uh, you have found 15 gold as well, as well as a wanted poster. Interesting. That was your last round. What would you like to do this round? <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't go near Copius or Robert. Quite yeah, honestly. I don't want to go near anybody again. I'm, I'm going to once again, take a step back and look at this wanted poster and try to figure it out. As you take a step back, give me perception. Eight. Uh, not good enough. So you are, hmm, hmm, this looks like us. Huh. Yeah, that's us. Yep, that's Mantooth. Mm -hmm. Everybody's on here, but crap stain for some reason. Huh. Uh, and then you are pondering your options. That brings us to Haggis. Haggis, uh, your associate Copius has a severely wounded one, and that is it. I'm good. Am I close to my uh, enemy I just killed? 
Oh yeah, he's right. He's right at your feet. I carve out his heart and eat it. That's fair enough. Uh, you are going to be very popular with the ladies. I can already tell. <laughs> uh, next up is Robert of Zeppelin. Don't worry, Jason. I'm coming to save you. Okay. Okay. Stay back. All right. I got it. Ah, dang it. I only rolled a nine plus seven. That gets him. No, Jason? Sadly, no. Uh, that's full point, so 13. Uh, copious, as you're facing off with your guy, a slashing motion severs his head from his shoulders and the body falls limply to the ground. Uh, if you uh, check your decedents uh, after you slit their throats, you will find 15 gold and each one has a wanted poster of you that Felix has already discovered. Felix, go ahead and give me a perception roll again. 19. As you notice, all of your associates are covered in blood spatter. You look down and you notice there are strange shadows being cast from behind you. You see yourself and then you see people with spears. And as you turn around, there is a row of mercenaries with spears. Uh, they are at the head of a large caravan. How uh, far away from us are they? The men with spears are right at your back. Uh, oh, behind them is the first wagon held or driven by a team of six horses and a large man in regal robes sits with his hands in his lap watching the debacle occur. The individual has a large turban-esque hat on and he has facial tattoos that are the same on either side. And he looks down and gives a great big sigh. Uh, everybody else roll perception. We'll see if you notice or if the bloodlust from crap stains heart eating moment is uh, causing confusion. Uh, Zeppelin got uh, 14. Did you roll Frankie? Go get 16. I got 18. 18 for noodles, 14 for Zeppelin. My, my passive wisdom perception is 15. What's that mean exactly? <laughs> that means you saw it. Everybody okay. uh, gets up. Uh, Crapstain uh, crap still has half the heart in his mouth. Everybody else has speckles of blood, probably from Robert or Copius hitting them. Uh, and you are all clearly outmatched by a row of pikemen. Uh, separating you from the man on the wagon. Uh, the individual in the turban and the facial tattoos leans down and he goes, um, he looks at uh, Leaf and he goes, explanation? Just tell him you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Since we defeated all these outlaws before they could actually attack the caravan like they were planning. That, that's what I was going to say. My lord, we've cleared the path for you. We saw them planning and trying to set up an ambush. Yeah, what he said. He, he raises his hand, points again at Leaf. What is going on here? We were attacked by these bandits dressed as pilgrims. Tried to rob us. Didn't work out very well. Uh, let's see. Uh, odd Felix, even noodle. Uh, the man's gaze turns to noodle and he goes, what are you looking at? You. What's the... <laughs> <laughs> the ground. The, the, the ground. The, you can see the white knuckles as the pikemen grip their spears ready to run you through uh, your scaly hide. And he goes, the paper. What is the paper? Oh, it's just... What are you looking at, paper-wise? Um, it's nothing, really. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just my book. Can I cast Minor Illusion on the paper and if the guy grabs it? 
Sure, he's he hasn't moved from his high perch on the caravan, but you can do that if you want, because he snaps his fingers. I think he's calling for a tune there, Felix or Robert. Uh, a woman in golden plate armor comes up from the next wagon over. Uh, you can tell that this uh, ebony princess uh, is not in it for the jokes. Uh, she walks up, nods to the man on the mount, and moves through the pikemen, whoop, separate, and she walks up to Noodle. Uh, Noodle, she is every bit as big as you, and you can tell the outline of her muscles and scars indicate yeah. she doesn't mind fighting. She Don't puts out it. her hand and uh, says nothing. Apparently, well, I'm going to hand her my paper. If she's got that many muscles that it's very noticeable, she could have it. She takes it, grabs it, walks over, hands it up to the guy. <laughs> Hmm. Points at uh, Crab Stain and goes, Do you know you're traveling with wanted individuals? I guess, what do you want to tell her? Or tell him, rather. Oh, it's a her? Or is it a dude? No, the, the lady took the paper from Noodle, handed it to the guy up on the wagon. Okay, I instead charge straight to the lady um, and bring out her hand and kiss the ring, you know? Kiss her hand, yeah. With, with the blood of the heart <laughs> of your enemy all over it. Uh, give me a persuasion roll. <laughs> Perfect. 19. Uh, what are you again? Halfling. I'm a halfling, but like I'm smaller than a regular one. A half halfling. I believe that's called a quarterling. <laughs> oh my God. The uh, the man looks at you puzzled. The woman watches you, but doesn't draw a sword. Smells the blood. Does she smell the crap scene? Uh, she just smells the blood and gives herself two marks. And the man on the mount looks at her and goes, are you sure? And she nods her head. And he goes, are you familiar with the rituals of the Emos people? I am, but please explain it to my friends. <laughs> they are not as intelligent as the rest of them. Uh, Haggis, she has claimed you as her mate. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll do it. She reaches over, grabs you by the scruff, and yanks you next to her and stands there. Um, nice playing with you. <laughs> so, Obviously he's about to become a man. The, the guy holds up the paper and he goes, are you sure they were bandits trying to rob you? Because it looks here like you're wanted. It's an evil occult. We're wanted by an evil occult that was destroying that city back there. So we defended ourselves. Pure several, case of self-defense. Several of the spearmen have encircled you. One of them looks down at the guy missing the heart, flips over the tunic, sees the insignia, and holds it up. Uh, with the 19 persuasion, uh, he is in Amor, the Golden Warrior S. Uh, Robert, you're chatty. Give me a persuasion to see if they'll buy that one. Mm, uh, five? <laughs> That's close. What if I do a charm person roll, though? Dude, get some new dice. You, you may try. I'm gonna try my dice. Not exactly sure how to do it. <laughs> Says uh, wisdom eleven. Mm -hmm. So I just got to roll above eleven. I do. You do. And an amulet around his neck glows, and he's like, "Cute." <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 cute. Uh, tell me, you wouldn't happen to be the defenders of Dworkin, would you? 
Sure. Yep. <laughs> How about he asks somebody other than Robert who just tried to charm him? He will ask Leaf. Yes, we are. And that's who put out the wanted was the remainder of the uh, cult that was robbing the people. We've heard of you. Uh, we didn't think we'd get to meet you. We thought you would busy, be busy tending to your palatial estates from what we heard. Palatial estates? Were you not rewarded significantly for your daring duo and saving the <laughs> world from the plague? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who told you that, but I, I've got a few gold in my pocket. And that's that's pretty much it. A bard of great renown told us of the heroes of the Dworkin district and said that you had uh, become lords of the nation. Uh, I've never played for you. <laughs> you know how bards lie and exaggerate. Uh, and charm. <laughs> and try to charm. Uh, the pikemen stop surrounding you still form the line in front of this individual who slowly dismounts and you can tell he's about six six even without the turban man's just immense he That's reaches me. he reaches down and he starts with copious v bitters and extends a hand then he goes and uh, proceeds through all of you except for crap stain because he doesn't want blood on his hands. He reaches out and then he's like, I will let you and hula. Social distancing. There's a plague on you now. Hand on, yeah. Uh, but he, he shakes each of your hand and he goes, it's a pleasure to meet you, even though you are not lords of the nation. Uh, what are you doing outside the city? Uh, Looking for I excitement and venture, aren't we? We're bored. I came out to pass gas and happened to just be caught in the crossfire. Well, there is plenty of adventure for all of you out there. All you have to do is go to the right place. And are we at the right place? Do you have a suggestion? Uh, we have many suggestions. And he snaps his finger, and a drunken, obviously drunken male bard comes up. Uh, two of his loot, two of his four loot strings are broken. He belches loudly, and you can smell the wine on his breath. And he goes, yes, my lord, what can I do? He says, these individuals are looking for adventure. What can you do for them? Who wants to try and persuade the drunken bard to tell you where you need to go? Oh, boy. I have <laughs> good luck with this roll. Twelve. We're getting better. Give me a D4. If we acted as backup singers, would that improve his chances? <laughs> you can try. I rolled a one. One plus one. Ah, uh, yes, my lord. There are pl there is plenty of adventure. Plenty of adventure everywhere. Uh, as a matter of fact, the outpost courage uh, in the eastern lands, uh, not too far away, is having issues with humanoids. Uh, they are coming out of the Adris Commonwealth. The damn elves have been driving them off to the great citizens, the great citizens, the, great, the, the folks of Uplari. Uh, the humanoids are coming out of the woods, and uh, I heard, I heard, I heard through the grapevine that, uh, what was I saying? Oh, humanoids. They're uh, they're just coming out of the woodwork. The, the man shakes his head and he goes, if you're looking for a problem nearby, you can head towards the borderland of Adris and Uplari. Fort Courage uh, is said to be under siege by humanoid raiders. The elves are driving them out of the woods and uh, they are causing a problem. You then notice that the bard is just moving his arm, but there's a slight nozzle from a bladder in his hand, and he is guzzling more wine. The man looks at his head, looks at him, and shakes his head, and he goes, "What was the other problem that you had that you had heard of?" Uh, and he says, um, "Where is it? Oh." The Montauk, 
with Darwald, the, 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 the king, the king guy, the short, short but stoutly patriarch of the dwarves. He's having problems in his minds, and he's gonna clear out the mines and he and he needs help and he and he goes to his other hand but there's nothing coming out of the bladder and he goes and there's nothing there's there's nothing there nothing they got they got nothing they got problems they got problems in the mind but you know it, it's 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 not like it's not like the thane's problems so you know you got that uh the large caravan leader is puzzled uh and he says what the thane and he goes the thane the thane guy the thane the thane of the thane mon ego thane mon ego you know when we were at the roadhouse they he's got a problem uh the caravan master clearly doesn't understand him because he wasn't present for that uh, and the drunken bard proceeds to tell you that Thane Mont uh, Montenegro uh, in the northwest uh, from where you came uh, is having a problem and he believes he's going to be assassinated and he's looking for bodyguards. So you have been given uh, the fort under fire, um, the dwarven problem with the Montauk, and you have a political intrigue issue. Uh, the Darwald is to the south, the fort is to the uh, east, and then in the northwest uh, at the neighboring nation, you have the problem of potential assassination. With that, the drunken bard swivels around and kind of whoop, whoop, and heads back. Uh, the caravan leader says, my apologies, he's feeling a little under the weather and he's been taking too much cold medicine. Uh, I am Tarbell the Magnificent, former bard, and I know when I've been charmed. Um, but uh, aside from uh, Haggis, uh, what can we do for you others? Um, for those of us that have some minor wounds if anyone has the ability to assist us in any way that would be lovely d12 against me Twelve. we can heal you uh and a squadron of minor clerics come up from the back uh and who needs healed <laughs> Uh, they will go cure light wounds on everybody who needs healed. Go ahead and roll a D8 and add two to it. No ones. That is how much heal and touch they've got left for you. Five. There you go. Uh, is there anything else we may be of service to the heroes of Dworkin? Can we ask where the caravan is heading? We are going to Cragwitch. What's in Cradwich for you? Out of curiosity. Merchandise. We are purveyors. We are import exporters. Import exporters? <laughs> I've heard Cragwich has great latex. Perhaps you would be interested in importing and exporting latex. I understand with enough latex, I can go ahead and move oil safely. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Costanza. <laughs> Thank you. Um, he goes, you are not too far away from the crossroads, though, so whatever adventure you think, we wish you only the best. Now, we must get uh, to Cragwich before evening so that he does not sober up. Yes, fellow what, bard. What's, so uh, what's happening with the uh, poop stain over there? Yeah, the nuptials. Oh, he's he's getting the royal treatment from the uh, sturdy woman. And let's see what her charisma is. Eh, she's a fifteen. What uh, what is your uh, charisma, Haggis? Nicholas got pretty good with that one. Uh, Thirteen. 
So she's prettier than you. Hey, you swung above your weight, buddy. That's right. So uh, she will ask uh, Mr. Crapstain if he would like to accompany her to Cragwich. Uh, if you want to stay with your associates, she will be heartbroken forever and love no other. Maybe. This is a chance for true love. Decisions all at the true right age. Of love. <laughs> Mellage. See, if, he, if he doesn't play another session, he can go off and live with a golden <laughs> warrior. So, like, can, taking an awful long time to make a decision there, boy. She's uh, waiting. Hurry up. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I abandoned her. Oh, you have oh. broken her heart. You bastard. What a jerk her brothers uh, are coming after you now <laughs> you're gonna get killed at least yeah. you did not sully her honor <laughs> you're no bard <laughs> uh the uh caravan master gives the signal and the wagons lurch forward uh this caravan is about 22 wagons and they are loaded with merch and there's also a few ladies Let's see if any of the ladies likes it. Like hey. uh, the Dragonborn has a few admirers. I, I'll, I'll play my lute as they go by. Oh, my God. Hey, Persuade that's 21. Oh, they, they like the tune. Uh, a 19, a 17, and a 15 noodle. Uh, Robert... You attract the attention of a 15 as well. It's above my normal standard. Uh, Felix, uh, Leaf, and Copious, enough. would you like to smile and wave, soak in that hero worship? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to smile and wave with one hand, but I'm going to use my sleight of hand to try to pinch something off the wagon ever so slightly without take, anybody noticing. A wagon full of camp followers and you're going to pinch something? We've got a pretty good idea what you're talking about. Uh, I will take a D8 for what you are, uh, which wagon you've got. And your admirer, Felix, has a charisma of three. And he, he <laughs> is really a nice guy. I uh, roll a one. You know what? Odd or even. Uh, no, it is a female. Uh, Leaf, your admirer. <laughs> All of her tooth is, is smiling it, at you. <laughs> is it the, the, the bull pulling the wagon? Uh, I think so. <laughs> you, you, you have got a sturdy, handsome woman there. Copious feed bitters. Near, 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 near. Uh, yours is a 10. Uh, Felix the Rogue, uh, you managed to nick some knockwurst off the meat vendor. Knockwurst? Knock I thought you worst. said it was a woman. It was. Oh, that's uh, her name. Not knockwurst. <laughs> <laughs> knockwurst, knock first. Uh, yes, it had uh, smoked and cured meats along that wagon. So you managed to nick something that might improve your charisma. We aren't really sure. Uh, Very nice. And, it's garlic season, knock worst. As, as the dust uh, careens off the wagons, you notice that your uh, foes are just getting run over because the pikemen didn't push them off the side of the road. So now they have ribs <laughs> cutting through them. There you go, poop stain, ribs. That's right. So you have your choice, or you can abandon all of them and continue to the crossroads. Well, when you get to the crossroads, it's going to send you in eight different directions. So you can choose uh, northwest, you can choose north or due west, and you can choose south, or you can choose one of the other paths because I have chosen all of them. I think Robert needs to go to the crossroads at least for one night. Yeah, yeah. Down at the ground row, down on my knees. Shortly after dusk, uh, you notice a light off in the distance, and it appears to be a roadhouse. Uh, as you arrive, roadhouse. as you arrive, the proprietor, Patrick, 
is present. Oh, that's bad. That's just bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put on one. Patrick Sleazy. You, you gotta do. You gotta do pop culture. I was about to say, but, call me Dalton. <laughs> so uh, you enter in, and it's not very lively. Uh, he points out that you should have been here last night. They had a really raucous crowd. Uh, you can assume that the caravan uh, parked here for the evening and uh, ate up most of his supplies. Uh, but there are a few local farmers present. Is and there a looking... blind half, uh, halfling playing a guitar or a lute in a, behind a cage? Not yet. <laughs> Money Millsap is not present yet. But there's that hot looking nurse, or no, she was a doctor. Uh, you notice that uh, a few local farmers are present, two individuals of, shall we say, seedy repute, uh, and at least one female who looks like an adventurer are present. Mm -hmm. uh, the common room is wide open. There is a table large enough to accommodate all of you, or you can separate off and filter through the sparse crowd. I'm going to go to the table. Marky, more noodles. I'll go to the table. I'll go to the table. I'm going to walk around a little bit, maybe mingle, work the room, you know. Not great. Let's see how this gets us into trouble. Noodle and copious. Uh, I'm going to call out to the barkeep, see if the heroes of Dwarf can, can get a free round. Who? Um, it's well, worth well, a well, shot. Well. <laughs> Who the hell's Dworkin? I, honestly, dwarf? we don't know. Yeah. Yes, it is a dwarf. Uh, not, not, not much of a fan of the little folk. And he glares at you. <laughs> I, I'm going to look sideline at the halfling and go, I know, right? Mm. Uh, food and drink, I assume, for you? Yes, please. Uh, it'll be a few minutes. Uh, Felix, go ahead and D12 against me. Hey. hey, there's a dice game. <laughs> Wait, where is uh, this dice game? Uh, is that the barkeep telling me the dice game, or do I notice the dice game? As you're milling about, you notice a small table in the corner, uh, a greasy-haired man chewing on a small splinter of wood, flipping a gold piece, uh, has a handful of dice looking for some players. I'm going to use my uh, perception, just kind of eyeball him a little bit and see if I notice anything out of the norm. Give me an insight check. Natural 20. He looks a little bit on the seedy side, but you also notice that his coin purse is full. I do like a full coin purse. So I I'm heard gonna, He can probably me. empty it for you. Yeah. <laughs> No, he, he will empty my coin purse. <laughs> I'm going to approach the man and say to him, are you interested in shooting some dice with me, boy? You know, I'm not very good at this. I'm still learning the game, but I suppose I could go ahead and indulge you. You look like a man of the world who might be able to teach me something. I can teach you a thing or two, but let's just play for some for some light drinks, how about? First round's on the loser. I like your way of thinking. You're on. Leaf, uh, Crapstain, Copious, Robert, and Noodle, the food and beverages have arrived. Give me a constitution check to see how you like it. They are not poisoned. Mm, 14? Four days good. Nine. Eh, you've had better. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen's pretty, good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I eh. ordered my bowl without poop in it. Fourteen. He changes Copious's bowl with Crabstein's bowl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leaf, what was yours? Fourteen. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. not bad. Uh, Felix, first round, give me uh, three d20 rolls and uh, add them up. Forty-four. I only got fourteen. I am horrible at this game. Barkeep, 
two drinks. <laughs> ah, yes, this is where and, the fun begins. And oh, when he rolls it, this. he rolls it and scoops them up to read them. Yep, 14. Not very good at all. Another mm. round. Yes, let's do one more round. For drinks or for some coin? Uh, let's try it for some coin. How about two <sighs> coin? Two, two gold. Coins? That's pretty steep, but uh, you know what? I'm about ready to leave. And if this is the last hand, why don't we make it interesting? Let's play for five. Five coin. Ah, that's a little steep, boy. I just met you, and you have You only been live once, the, my friend. You haven't been playing the game very long. I would hate to take all of your money in one fell swoop. It would teach me a valuable lesson to lose to such an accomplished gambler. Well, I do think of myself as an amateur educator. So, yes, let's go. Five coin it is. Five coin. Uh, three dice again. Hmm. 29 47 Ooh. oh it's my lucky day <laughs> it, is. it is go ahead and give me a perception check at disadvantage Fifteen. yep looks legit <laughs> But at least you got a beverage out of it. Uh, would I you like did. to rejoin your associates or? Uh, yes, it was good playing with you, boy. I wish you well along your track. I appreciate the time that you've spent with me. Are those your associates? They are. Well, I would like to go thank them for having such an accomplished associate. And he comes in behind uh, crap stain. Puts his hands on uh, your shoulders, Haggis, and he goes, gentlemen, your associate here has taught me a lot about gambling. I appreciate his knowledge to share it with someone who is just not worthy. I wish you all a fine evening. Can we do a check on this guy to see if uh, what oh, his yeah. intentions are? Sure. Uh, everybody insight and uh, crap stain. Give me a perception check. Twenty-one. Insights. Nineteen. If I'm still insighting. Okay. He's seventeen on perception. Uh, Crapstein, you feel something is amiss, Felix and Robert. You notice that while the one hand needs his shoulder, the other hand just kind of hangs onto his other shoulder limply. Fifteen. I'm going to get up and uh, walk around to shake his hand, the one that's just kind of hanging limply. I will do a performance check. Not 20. Uh, the hand comes up, and he gives you a little pulse. <laughs> I believe you're real. I just don't believe my luck. <laughs> Is that a falsetto that's coming out of Robert right now? <laughs> uh, crap stain, how much gold did you have? <laughs> Wait, how much were we given at the start? Uh, these guys all had 500 gold for saving Dworkin. You being new, I'll give you uh, D12 against me. Uh, if you beat me, I'll go higher. If I beat you, I'll go lower. If we have 500, did we lose a big chunk of that because of paying off for Copus Vidius. Uh, no, they, they exonerated him. Four on my D12. I was maligned, man. I will give you uh, 450 then. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. Did I say 450? You only got 400. <laughs> <laughs> As this uh, purveyor of thievery has been able to get five out of Felix and 50 out of you. Gentlemen. Heroes, one and all, I raise my non-existent glass to you. And he heads for the door. <laughs> so, and those of us who didn't make the roll, we're oblivious to everything that just happened, right? Sure, you, you're watching the noodles fall off your face as you're eating your chow. Something just doesn't feel right. 
And I just have a sudden urge to stab somebody. Noodles yes, right I next know. to you. <laughs> I feel like I should go double or nothing. Don't touch me. Should I go double or nothing? Touch me, you die. Perhaps I can go find that guy out in the alley. You can go outside if you'd like. Uh, but I still have a full drink. Maybe I'll just finish my seltzer water. Uh, anybody want to go check on this uh, deviant or just? Are you sure you don't want to go check on him? Is he still well, walking out of the bar? The the guy. He uh, he walked right outside the bar, cheering you on. Huzzah! Huzzah! Mm -hmm. Huzzah! Opened the door with his ass, and out he went. Did he drop anything on his or leave anything at the table he was sitting at? Maybe that I would perhaps see for a reason to go after him. Perhaps he forgot his dice. Look at that! He forgot his dice. We have to go <laughs> return him his dice. There's only one thing we can do. Let's let's go after him. I'll chug a lug, and we can go. Are you going to pick up the dice? That would probably be good. Give me a perception <laughs> check. And are you asking all of us to go with you, Felix? Because I'm, I'm enjoying this alone. fine I, meal. I, I believe Robert was saying he wants to go. My perception check was a six. <laughs> dice feel fine to you. Yep. Okay. <laughs> They're not fine at all. I didn't think so. If they weren't. As you, uh, okay, so you chug your beer and you and Robert are headed out or are there additional people headed out? Come Crap on, lad, let's go. Crapstain, go ahead and give me another perception check. There's there's four of us going. That's our sure. I'm looking up and the entire group's leaving. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my bowl with me as I walk towards the door. Same here. 18. Whoa. 18? Yeah, you notice that your coin purse is a whole lot lighter. Uh whoa, 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 whoa. Uh says Pat. Are you gonna pay? I didn't need anything. I did. I'll pay. No problem. Yeah, I'll pay. Sure. I need three silver pieces. And yeah. Robert, did you drink? I didn't get a chance to do anything. I went to shake a hand. Well, yeah, but it's in front of you. Fine. Fine. Three, three silver pieces silver for pieces. everybody. Uh, Throw them uh, on the table. Copious, he'll let you take the bowl out. He doesn't care. It's not Tupperware. Uh, <laughs> you guys go outside. Who's first one out? Uh, give me a perception check. or give, I'm sorry. Give me an investigation check. Investigation? He's looking around for somebody. Hey, there is that one. What do I roll? Uh, D20 and then add, I, I think investigation is intelligence. I'm not sure. It is. Uh, it's, it's, it's listed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, intelligence. So, uh, I got a one. <laughs> I got a five. Uh, Felix steps out promptly, putting his foot in a large steaming pile of <laughs> <laughs> Who is second out as he kind of lifts his foot to look what he stepped in, and now Robert? he's kind of hopping away. Robert, give me an investigation check. Thirteen. Uh, you notice the steaming pile. Move uh, Felix out of the way. Look out. And uh, while you're on this solitary road, uh, there's some hills around here, uh, but you do not spot your foe or your prey, I should say. Who else wants to take a look around? Give me an investigation check. Roll and do an investigation. 19. 19 to spot him. Natural 20 for Noodle. That'll spot him. Leaf. Hey, guys. <laughs> 15. That'll spot him. Crap stain? Eight. You don't see him. Uh, but you don't step in the poop either, so that's good. <laughs> uh, copious noodle leaf. There he is. He's on the hill. To the hill! To the hills! I'm just going to call out to him and wave. Hey! I think you left your dice! Huzzah! Huzzah! And he goes up and over the hill. Can I... You gonna sprint up there? Yeah, I'll sprint. Uh, it is a full moon, so you have plenty of light, even if you don't have dark vision. Uh, so Crabstain is sprinting. Anybody else sprinting? I will. Uh, with your poop on your boot. Uh, who's got the fastest? No, no, I, that was not me sprinting. I was gonna say I am gonna put the <laughs> the dice that he dropped in my pocket while I'm kind of like 
What the hell? Wipe, wipe oh, your foot it. off. Sure. I'll be right with you guys. I just gotta get this off of my foot. <laughs> so who's got the fastest movement rate that's chasing him? What is it? We got thirty walking, so it's what double for running. Mm -hmm. So sixty and sixty. Mm -hmm. Up sixty. Three sixties. I am not. And crap stain. Uh, forty. Ooh, Crapstein's going to outdistance you all. He will get to the uh, slight rise first. Uh, D12 against me. Everybody? Nope, just Crapstein. Okay, Crappy Stain. <laughs> 11. Good news. Uh, you notice your quarry is ahead of you. However, he is face down in a crop field. <laughs> he jumped. No. No, it's a it's just a gentle rise, but just up and over the hill is some crops. Uh you've got a small fence line. Uh there's a homestead uh off in the distance, but you can tell the way the fence is set up. It's here. Uh there's some corn, there's some soybeans, there's a scarecrow or two. Uh, but in the bright moonlight, you see him just Face down in the crops. Can, can I approach him? Sure. You're the slowly, fastest. Slowly. Okay. Approach so him. you're going to slow your roll. Are you going to let the others catch up? Or are you going to go ahead uh, go ahead of them all? I, I just want to inspect the body. Notice it. Before. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you move down. Uh, go ahead and roll a straight up D20. As long as it's not a one, you can uh, maneuver down without a problem. Four. But yeah. Yeah, you slip and slide down there, but you uh, reach some of the furrows there, and you reach your assailant. Uh, turns out there's a turkey vulture that has just landed on a post not too far away, um, and you see that the individual is still breathing in front of you. He is at the foot of uh, like a scarecrow on a post, uh, but he is face down. And you can see uh, his breathing is rather rapid. Hmm. Okay, to, to, to avoid anything, I'm going to take my short sword and stab it through his throat. Just to... Sure, that'll work. Be sure. you know, he can, wait, just in case, before he does that, <laughs> have I reached the top of the rise? Can I see him down <laughs> at the bottom? Opius, Robert. Noodle and Leaf have all arrived uh, at the top of the hill. Felix has wiped the crap stain off his boot, and he is a short distance behind you all. All right, so I'm standing at the top of the hole, eating my noodles, and I see him pull a sword out over top of the dead body. Yeah, you even see a couple cows in the field. Uh, all right, I'm just going to call out to crap stain. Say, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Crap stain, do you hold your blade? I hold it, but, you know, close to the, you know. G give me a perception check. 20. Net. Uh, you hear movement, and it's not coming from him. Okay. Awfully quiet. <laughs> um, as, as you look around, you notice... The scarecrow moved just ever so slightly. Cheapers hmm. creepers. I stabbed the scarecrow. Uh, as you raise your blade, it glares down at you. Give me a DC 11 versus wisdom. Uh, you know what? Now I have a crap stain. <laughs> versus wisdom? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your wisdom modifier. Oh, five. Uh, now give me odd, even roll. Odd, you fall to the ground next to the thief. Even, you run like hell. Because it's g -g -g ghosts. <laughs> what dice is he rolling? Anything odd or even. I got a one. So, uh, Odd, you fall next to the gambler, uh, and you are face down in the furrows. Good news, no cow shit. Uh, Copious, Robert, Noodle, Leaf, Felix. 
Uh, you do not notice the movement of the scarecrow, but you did notice that he did halt his blade when Copius told him to, but looked like he was going to attack this stuff freaking clothing on the post when he just <clears throat> dropped and he's just right there. Uh, and then you five see the gambler get up and start to sprint. Oh, hell no. And he is going to sprint straight ahead towards the homestead. Is there anything in the field at all um, that There's could be a lot of cow shit? Turkey vulture, <laughs> right cow shit, and cows. Okay, so he, it's he just the open field. In the shit. It's everywhere. He is, he is between the corn stalks and the soybean fields. I was wondering if we could use Mage Hand to trip his butt, knock him on his face. I think it's only 30 foot. Okay. So, and he, he would be. He's farther past than that. that. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to do anything at this juncture? Anybody got a javelin? <laughs> uh, I can try and shoot him. Sure. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Bro. It's a hit. Not, is that your 20 side? All right. Go ahead. What is While that? While he's doing that, I kind of want to whisper to the group. I was back there cleaning off my boot. What? What? Three. What happened? 13. 13. 13 uh, is enough to hit him. Go ahead and give me a damage roll. I, I'm going to look at the noodle and go, why are we trying to kill this guy? No, no. I eight, just want to return his dice. That's not an eight side, son. I don't got an eight side. That's okay. Here you go. Now he has your eight side. Your loaded dice. Yeah. Plus. Felix has the loaded dice. He just four. doesn't know it yet. Four damage. It knocks him to the ground. He, he did something to poop stain. What? How? He was on the. I, somebody's got to tell me what the heck's going on. Is and I'm still looking. Poop stain still on the ground, right? Crap stain still face down. For right now, he is. He's about to get another roll. So anybody else want to do anything? I've got Felix talking, Copious trying to make heads and tails out of it, Noodle flinging bolts in the air, Robert helping him, and Leaf standing there. So Leaf, did you want to do anything? And Robert I'm going to go up and check on poop stain. Okay. There you so, go. You two head towards poop stain uh, or crap stain. Crap stain, give me another roll. Wisdom for me, please. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen is enough. Now give me an odd even. Even. I got a ten. Uh, you may run. You may run in any direction that you want. I go in the direction of the Salem. Fair enough. The scarecrow reaches out, and you all see it try and slash at him. I don't think that's going to get you. 12. The scarecrow slashes at Crabstain, misses, and then jumps off its perch like it's Jesus. Uh, and now it is going to go odd after Crabstain and the other, even after you guys. That's a one. He's going to try and chase down Haggis. Uh, so, in Hi. this round, Felix, Copius, Robert, Noodle, and Leaf, what do you want to do? Eldritch Blast, right at the Scarecrow. Uh, what's the distance on that? 60? 120 feet. Oh, easy. Yeah, go ahead. One, 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 one. Uh, I missed, but it's not a one. <laughs> Uh, poop piles fly up from the Eldridge Blast. <laughs> Felix Leaf, Robert Noodle, what do you want to do? I'm going to shoot my longbow at the Scarecrow. One, 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 one. Uh, a 19. That hits him. Don't worry, I haven't rolled yet. Seven damage. Nice. Uh, Robert Noodle Leaf. Do what I do best. I'm running up swinging at whatever. Same here. Right. <laughs> We're close. It's another three. Strangely enough, that does not hit. <laughs> Leaf and noodle. Um, 
Put another one. Sorry. 20. Oh, yeah, that hits him. Should I shoot it with my longbow? I'm going to shoot it with my longbow. Okay. All right. Four damage. Yeah. Go ahead and roll it. 17 plus 3, 20. It's like a 20. Eight sided. Eight sided. 20 to hit. Now you got to roll damage. Six plus five. No. 11. Six plus one. So oh, sorry. It's seven. He rolled seven damage. So Noodle and Felix are using missile weapons, so they are behind. Copious, Robert, and Leaf have charged. Uh, Crabstain is trying to chase down the wounded uh, gambler. Uh, straight up, give me D20, uh, Haggis. Nine. You are close enough if you'd like to go ahead and do a shoestring tackle before he gets into the end zone. See if you can hit your uh, prey that you're chasing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 11. Brought him down. Uh, Crabstain dives at the man's feet, gives him a swipe. They both fall into the furrow. The scarecrow is closing in on them. But odd, it will continue to close in on them. Even it will turn and face you guys. That's an eleven. It's going to go after odd gambler, even adventurer, even adventurer. Uh, since you are on the ground, facing away from it, no glare attack. Uh, but it does get two claw attacks. Uh, not 20 and an 11. Uh, take, ooh, those are harsh claws. <laughs> uh, raking your buttocks. Ooh, eight damage uh, as it gives you a very invasive check. Uh, eight damage as it rakes your back and you scream out in agony. Uh, I will let you decide if you want to go after Gambler, whom you just tackled, or spin around and kick this scarecrow in the straw face. I still want justice to be done to the Gambler, so I'm going to attack the Gambler. Go ahead. That's some dedication right there. 16. Oh, yeah, easily. <clears throat> he doesn't wear armor. And a five. Uh, that's enough to knock him down. Uh, over to, we'll go missile weapon guys first. Felix and Noodle, do you want to fire off another round? Uh, just so you know, Crap, Stain, and the Gambler are danger close. Broken arrow, broken arrow. Yeah, I'll, that, fire, off, I'll fire off another round. Okay. I'm going to pop another missed. round as well. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Okay, he's willing to chance it. I roll a 10. Does that hit? 17. 11 is what you need. 20. 20. Got 20. 20 hits? No, no, no. 8 cent. Plus 1. 4. Still alive. Uh, my melee fighters, Leaf, Robert, and Copious, you have closed the distance. Uh, you notice that Crapstain has taken a rather egregious hit across his spine and is bleeding, uh, but however, he has also knocked out the gambler unconscious. I'm gonna take a swipe, a little poke. Sure. Is the creature facing away from us still? It is because it went after the other two. Okay. So no glare 23 attack. to hit. Yep. And seven points of damage. Okay. Copious and leaf. Miss. He needed this more. I missed. Oh, you guys are screwed. <laughs> Uh, odd even, odd it stays with crab stain. Uh, even it goes after you guys. 
six it turns around copious leaf robert you are all in range of its hateful glare give me a dc 11 versus wisdom please 19 16 One more time, Leaf. <laughs> I might get this by the end of the night. 15. Uh, none of you are affected by its hateful glare. Uh, and that is its attack for this round. Crabstain, you've managed to knock out the gambler. Uh, what would you like to do? You feel some serious pain right here. Not here. Here. Right down your back. I can use a healing potion like... Uh, like not on my turn, right? I can just. It, it's your turn right now. You can do that. Yeah, all right. Pull off the potion before you get too much cow shit in your spine. Okay. So um, I'm gonna. <coughs> I I loot sleight of hand. I search the. The body? Yeah. Fair enough. Missile Take guys, down, yeah. Felix and Noodle. Uh, you notice that the creature is spun around and is engaged with your three associates and is leaving the almost crippled, now healed uh, member of your party. So what would you two like to do? I'm going to fire. I don't think I've been doing too well with the arrows, so I've been doing good, but not very good. I'm going to run down there. Okay. Yeah, uh, you will take your full movement, and that will be your round. Go ahead, Felix. Give it a yep, shot. Fire away. Literally. Seventeen. Uh, Copius and Robert. Phew, an arrow comes whizzing past you and buries itself into the straw man. Six damage. Not dead yet. <laughs> Uh, melee fighters, go ahead. What's the tip of the arrow made with? A metal? Mm -hmm. I would you assume so. Metal. Metal. What? Hey, you could heat metal. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Right. Huh. Uh, Copious and Leaf, uh, are you going to attack? Uh, it, the creature's facing us now, yes? Yes. Okay. So, and no way to get to sidle around behind him at this point? Uh, you can attempt to move around it if you'd like. I, I'd like to try to slide around behind it. Just stabby, yeah, stabby. Straight up D20. If it's a one, you trip over crap stain. Uh, otherwise, you get behind him. Okay. <laughs> I almost tripped, but I didn't. So, <laughs> uh, And then I have dirty 20 to hit. And I did two, five, six, uh, eight points of damage. Leaf, what are you doing? I'm going to concentrate for a minute on a spell. Okay. Robert? Are you I'm going to cast heat metal on that arrow sticking in the back, in that uh, thing. Copious stabby stabby tears it apart, and its heart just bursts into flame from Robert's spell and ignites rapidly. Straw is carried off in the slight breeze going on, dropping into the furrows of future crops and cow shit uh it does not <laughs> land on crap stain it doesn't land on copious it doesn't land on robert or leaf leaf uh you can cancel your spell because whatever it was it ain't gonna work now because that thing is dead and give me perception everybody yeah do we notice the field's now on fire it is not on fire i rolled my natural threes that i'm good with ten 19. 19. 20. 20. 20. 16. 16. Good boy. Everybody above 10 hears, what in the holy hell is going on? And a diminutive woman is coming from the homestead through the furrows, tramping along. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a very sturdy halfling. Uh, and she is just pissed. Uh, who wants to <laughs> attempt to assuage her anger? Oh I'm boy! Pushing craps, <laughs> push crap stain at her. Push crap stain oh, at her. Uh, crap stain or crap stain. Uh, <laughs> you 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 find your fifty gold. 
uh, you find the five gold that Felix lost, and you find 10 additional gold. You also find some playing cards, but there's something wrong with them. Give me a perception check. Uh, 14. You notice that one corner is slightly tinged of a different shade if it is a 10 or better. They're marked cards. Uh, go ahead, Robert. Impress us all with your oratory on this angry woman whose scarecrow you just destroyed. She, Madam, we came out here finding it. We came down the road leaving the bar, and this guy was just down here going ape shit. <sighs> Persuasion. <laughs> Come on, threes. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> so five sucks so bad. So my husband was going ape shit. <laughs> I don't know. He lost to this guy over here. I'm, I'm pointing to Felix in a dice game. Thought he was the thought. He just stormed out of the bar mad. Left the dice sitting there. We were coming to try to talk to him and calm him down a little bit. And then when we got over top the hill, there he was flipping out. So my husband's going ape shit while this individual is rifling through his pants. I don't know what's going on with that, madam. I just know what I saw was your husband being attacked. I thought this guy jumped on top of your husband to protect him after it was attacking at him. I don't know what happened. He was laying on the ground. When he got down here, he ran. The thing swiped, and he jumped on his back and took the wound. And who is responsible for damaging my field? To wit, my scarecrow. I thought the scarecrow was trying to attack them. I'm I said pretty it on sure fire. the scarecrow just burst into flames. Yeah. Spontaneous combustion. It's a it serious happened. problem in these parts. You know, there's the swamp gas, a weather balloon, and it uh crop circles. Uh <laughs> persuade me, Felix. Somebody else persuade, you know. can I I wanna uh cast minor uh not a yeah nine. Min, minor illusion. He's not buying the crop circle. What kind of illusion would you like to create? Uh, like a, a, a noise off uh, towards the wood line that sounds like a big beast. An auditory. Okay. <laughs> yes, an auditory uh, illusion. Fun. What is your, if you were trying uh, to uh, spell cast me, what would I need to do to save? 13. Not shit. Yeah, that's a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everybody give me a DC 13 as well. Because there is a loud noise behind you that sounds like a pack of wolves. I didn't. I rolled a five. Ten. I rolled a nine. Copious. Wow. Uh, there's an angry pack of wolves coming up behind you guys. What? I'm going to just scream, lady, you got to get out of here. There's wolves coming. Guys, we got to go and start running. She snaps her fingers and she goes, I can do that too. Uh, you turn around. And bitch, bitch, bitch. A witch. She does not float. She is not a witch. No pebbles. Uh, her husband's a little bit groggy and he's starting to come to crap stain. Would you like to knock him out again in front of her or just leave him be since you've recovered your lost income? I'm going to dance around her and distract. Performance. <laughs> <laughs> that I have a better chance. Natural 17 plus five river dance. I am river river dance. The hell out of her. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to do, crab stain? Yeah, I just kicked the guy, leave him down. You know. Fortunately, Robert of Zeppelin has used his magical finger symbols <laughs> to go ahead and confuse her. <laughs> she does not notice that you have just kicked her husband, who moans loudly. Uh, she goes Ooh. down and she takes a small vial out of her uh, garment folds, 
drops it into his mouth, and he is healed. Uh, she looks at you, Crabstain, and you know what? Just give me a persuasion roll to see if she wants to heal you too. Uh, 19. You look injured. Do you need healing? Sure, yeah. She hands over a small vial uh, with a small piece of cork in it. I, I just, uh, you know, I pack it. Like, yeah, I'm just going to keep it. Thanks. Are you going to drink it or do I get it back? I drink it. It tastes god awful, but... Uh, it heals you for seven. Your claw wounds magically come together, although you're going to probably have a little bit of a scar. And she goes, I would now like for all of you to leave my property. Uh, we'll take the big shoe dancers and head out. <laughs> <laughs> the Cossacks. Uh, are you going to head back to the roadhouse? Roadhouse. Else. Oh. We haven't really talked as a group where we want to go from here. Did anyone decide whether we wanted to pursue one of those three? He wants to oh. do it. I want to, do, I want to prevent the assassination because that sounds cool. Do, do I get a suit? This is the real question. I, do I get to look like James Bond? That's not real you want to stay above ground or go down the tunnel? You know, mine's in a druid and mine's in a forest gnome. What could be better? Mm hmm. Well, I don't since, want to go in a hole. Since it is nighttime, you can go ahead and see if you can bunk out at the roadhouse. Um, you don't want to ask her? <laughs> you, 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 can, you can ask Esmeralda, but I don't think she or her husband Dalton will be too fond of <laughs> No, I'll bunk out at the uh... roadhouse. Yeah. Roadhouse to give roadhouse. him his bowl back. Okay. Ah, very nice. Uh, you care. It shows. Right. Uh, Leaf and Felix, are you headed back to the roadhouse as well? Yeah, roadhouse. Yeah, so I'm going to head back to the roadhouse. Okay. Uh, once you arrive, you notice it is later, uh, and most of the other patrons are gone. Uh, the proprietor, Pat, uh, says, "Why? What, what are you guys doing back? Ask if he has a place that we can lodge for the night. Yep, looking for room. Yes, how much? It's the floor. Oh, it's the floor. That's yeah. great. So that's cheap, then, right? Yeah, you guys can stay the night. I'll get a place by the fire. But you don't touch my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay for free, but you can't touch my daughter. <laughs> Which one's your daughter so I know? He points to a lady over in the corner with a 14 charisma. Ooh. Oh, I'm just going to give him money now for the damages. <laughs> and he, he graciously accepts the bowl back. So, uh, yes, you guys can spend the night. You can sit by the fire. You can lay down by the fire. Uh, there's some woven mats. It's not going to be very comfortable, but at least you have a roof over your head as you hear thunder. Uh, clearly, the sign of rain is a coming. Does the thunder roll? It does roll. Okay. I, I'm going to perform. Can I perform for my night stay? Sure. Because <laughs> Copius has already foisted out coin. Go ahead and see uh, what you're going to do. Is I'm it going to be gonna... a sonnet? Is it going to be Macbeth? It's going to be a little bit uh, something, a romance. A little bit more of a romance. So Nicholas can get his game on? No, I'm getting my game on. I'm going to take the barkeep's daughter out of the room and make sure she goes with her dad. Hey, I am performing. Leave her alone. I think I was going to wait with well, my daughter on her way out. Jesus. What, what could possibly you, go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? As you I'll follow the rest of them. As you step outside, your way is blocked by a large man with a red cross emblazoned across his uh, tunic, mm -hmm. and he pushes you out of the way and he goes innkeeper i need a beverage now can i pretend to be the innkeeper and pour him a beverage <laughs> you, you gotta use a thick rhode island accent though 
Uh, he looks at you, doesn't recognize you, and says, where is Mortimer? Uh, went to bed. Put his daughter to bed. Hmm. That's not a euphemism. He literally took his daughter to bed. Where, where is Pat? He, he went to bed, too. I think he went with the other two. And went as a group. Because you recognize Pat. Pat's the owner of the bartender, uh, the bar or the roadhouse. You don't know who Mortimer is. Uh, he goes, fetch me an ale, boy. Sure thing. Two silver. Slaps the money down. All right, perfect. I'll get him and pour him an ale. I have extensive knowledge of all the ales and beers uh, available. You notice that the individual has a tattoo of a chain around his neck, but he looks like a holy man. I'm going to give him his beer. Anything else I can provide for you? No, I will take my normal room. Thank you. Room? Okay. What room? Uh, you uh, know where it is. Go help yourself. The room that this ring offers me and he, he has a very expensive looking ring on uh, it looks like a clergyman type of ring felix did you see the ring oh i saw the ring yeah you know what anybody with a neck tattoo of a chain is probably easy pickings <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna ask him if he's traveled from very far was that a little teardrop tattooed under his eye no nope, he never did any hard time <laughs> Uh, he says that he has come from uh, 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 trying to find it. Uh, he has come from the southwest. Uh, he was sent there to uh, investigate strange depressions in the mountain peaks. Uh, they've had a lot of sinkhole problems near Metcalf in the Republic of Snow, which is a neighboring nation. Uh, he said, rumors of disappearing Thorps have been confirmed. I am headed to Cragwich to inform those who have sent me there. So basically crop circles. Uh, more like entire Thorps are disappearing. What's a Thorp? Uh, it's a small community of uh, maybe uh, five to 12 buildings. It's Bur Oak, Indiana is what it is, but I don't know what it is in Ohio. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe 30 people tops. Ostrander. Yeah. It's Ostrander. Oh, they got a bar. So whole uh, village. Ostrander's is got 31 this people. Okay. 31. It's a metropolitan <laughs> area. A yeah. That, that the whole is village urban. is disappearing. Yes. The ground has just opened up and the people in the buildings have just caved in. And he didn't discover anything related to what was causing it? I'm sorry, son. That wasn't my job. My job was to confirm or deny these uh, incidents occurring. We all have our jobs. Now, if you'll excuse me, if I may, I will retire to my normal abode. Uh, and you know like how to find your room? There. Yes? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Do you need someone to carry a torch to help you get there? No. Okay. One of these gentlemen would be happy to carry any belongings that you I'm, may have. Yes, I carry I'm, torches really I'm well. Carry a torch. Part. I will help light the way to your room. I can also carry torches pretty well. I could do that role. <laughs> you need your shoes shine, sir. Uh, not by you. <laughs> <laughs> And, and not by you, Felix, <laughs> because even though you wiped your boot off, the scent lingers. I am fine. Thank you. I will uh, retire to my uh, room, and I expect breakfast in the morn. Was well, payment already taken care of there, Inkeep? Was what? I said, was the payment already taken care of, Inkeep? I have always paid on a monthly basis. Oh, okay. He well, I believe up. it's the first of the month next week. I believe you need a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Give me an intelligence check. <laughs> oh, I failed. I <laughs> don't have to roll for that. I failed. I think mine's a negative. Oh, well, here you go. Lucky number 13. Well, I rolled a one. I rolled a three, so hmm, I didn't realize it was so late. 
throws you a bag of coins, totaling 15 gold pieces for next month. He goes over to this blank wall near the chimney. Finds the secret door, opens it up. There's a small bed chamber beyond. Goes in, closes it. You all hear a click. Um, <laughs> and that's the last you will see of Sir Lego. Lego? Lego? His name's Lego? Does Lego. He have, does he have a few in his pocket? He doesn't have any egos. Ah, oh, crap. It's mean. I, I'm sorry. Crap would be your two companions. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Crap foot and crap stain. <laughs> so we need to we need to discuss where we're heading tomorrow. And we you have just to... received information of another uh, another thing that might be worth looking into. I I want to go see things that eat whole villages. That just sounds interesting. I think so. I'm interested. In that. Hey. All right, I, that's the one then. You were over. Did you see his ring, Haggis? What do you think? Did you see that ring? Uh, that ring was nice. Uh, that ring but, was nice. But but it had, it was definitely a, a bishop's uh, kind of ring. I think Patrick's daughter was nicer, and I have a feeling I know where I'm going to end up in the middle of the night. Oh, God. You're going to end up with a different kind of ring, bud. I'll light the torches. Got to cover up this evidence. <laughs> We're not no. planning on another accidental fire, are we? Haboon, I, I hope not because you're staying all. here for the night. Uh, Felix, you've made money because he forgot what day of the week it is. Copious, you made money because he needed an ale. Uh, Robert, Noodle, Crap Stain, and Leaf, you notice this guy's got some money. Uh, and if you go outside, you'll notice he's got a horse. I think it's time to go. I got a ride. Yeah, same, same. It's the middle of the night and it's starting to rain, but by all means, go okay, right ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer. Anybody want some stew? Stew sounds take a mean peasant I, stew. I can already see this is a college dorm in the morning. <laughs> Lord. People Animal. sleeping everywhere and food yeah. half eaten. I guess you didn't say where you wanted to go. No, I'm good. Do, do I notice which direction the, the daughter went in? Oh, God. You are a okay, married I man. I daughter boy. I've already, put, I've already called dibs. Hey, I called dibs you first. You changed me a man earlier. There's no dibs. Leave her me. alone. Uh, she oh, went outside, and they wrapped around the building to where the residential portion is. The two, the two are connected, but there is no egress between the two. All right, this is for party members. Is there a, ever a chance we'll, we'll, we will be back to this hostel ever again? No. Possibly. Okay, fine. What's not uh, nailed down that looks valuable? Because that's what's going through all the rogues' mind. <laughs> what's up to say if there's any saddlebags on that horse? Well, you know, if we do, if one of us stays up and we do a rotating guard just before, you know, early dawn's light, this place might accidentally burn down. Who knows? And then that silver is going to take a lot of heat for that ring to melt. I just want to put out there, I do not want to be a criminal of the church. No. No. <laughs> so like, can we do something no. to avoid that? He might wake up and we can help him get out and then we're the heroes of the church. Oh, just like we were the heroes of uh, Dworkin, right? Yeah. Just so I have a pyromaniac mentality, just leave me alone. Something needs to burn. burn, burn. So okay. are we spending the night here? Yeah, we're going uh, down. Felix yes. and Crabstain, are you going to thumb wrestle for the attempt to woo the farmer's or tavern owner's daughter? Are which you I'm wrestle? sure cannot uh, be a bad idea. Yes, uh, let's thumb wrestle for it. But before we do, I just have one question for you, uh, Crabstain. Are you familiar with the capital of Thailand? It's Bangkok. And I <laughs> smack him in the nuts, and I. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, Felix, give me a D twenty. Uh, Crapstain, give me a D twenty at disadvantage. <laughs> he punches his own balls. Four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Five. What's your roll, crap stain? Five. Yeah. Uh, you hit him right in the cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was close enough. I will give you a little bit of a distraction and you can run out the door. That's what I'm going to do. Don't take and, that lying down, crap stain. Or standing up. <laughs> or, or dented cod piece. Uh, I, I, so are you going to like run around uh, and go to the residence? To the man who just said, leave my daughter alone? Put yes, my I'm going to run out the door. And as soon as I get out there, I'm going to kind of look around and try to figure out which way they went. Because I didn't see which way they went exactly. But I did hear the thunder rolling in. I'm looking up at the sky thinking, maybe I, I, maybe I shouldn't go in there. And I'm going to, when I'm looking around outside, do I see anything? I don't know. Give me a D20. Let's see if you see the cow shit. Now, I've got a uh, passive wisdom here and insight uh, as one of my senses. Can I use that? Sure, because it'll smell like that. So it's, go ahead. It's a 14 for passive wisdom. And you rolled ten. Yeah, you don't step in it. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll give you a guess. Uh, rot, roll odd or even. It's even. Uh, you peel around to the left side of the building. Crap stain as you exit the building. Give me a passive wisdom check or passive perception check. See if you step in poop. 17. You do not step in poop. Uh, and with 17, I will give you your choice. You can peel around to the left uh, where Felix went, or you can peel around to the right. Oh, wait. I thought he went to the right. Did you go to the right or the left? I think he needs another wisdom check. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure he went left. Okay, I'll go right. I'll go right. Uh, okay, good news. You are blocked by a small cart. Felix, you will get to the front door first, enough to lick your eyebrow and make yourself look attractive and try and turn on your charm. I'm going to gently... Are those loaded dice in your pants, or are you just glad to see my daughter? <laughs> those are loaded dice. Shame. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Keep, it Keep it PG. So I'm very gently going to... Uh, first listen to the door and see if I hear the uh, Patrick inside doing anything if he's still milling about or it, I'm he's dancing to see perhaps mm -hmm. his daughter dancing. caught my wink on the way out and she knew what it meant D12 against me 10 9 he's moving around well then I better just knock on the door and because what could possibly go wrong with this so i very gently rap on the door the little slider opens up what uh, i was just wondering um uh, mr patrick sir if uh perhaps you had enough to drink tonight uh could i bring you a drink a no, I, I don't want just you guys thank you a i don't want you guys getting tremendous. into my alcohol stores oh no 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 Get we're not. Roll. Um, <laughs> We're, there we're there not. better not be wondering. one drop missing in the morning. Nope, not at all. Uh, however, I will say that a gentleman came in and he asked for one drink and he is staying at his secret room. Uh, he also said that he will pay his bill, his monthly bill in the morning. Crap stain, you have arrived and it seems as though Felix has uh, gotten the drop on you. He is already communicating to the man inside. Uh, do you want to throw him under the bus or what do you want to do? Uh, I, I say that inside the bar, some people are stealing some stuff. And... <laughs> no, no, no I, I wouldn't say stealing. It's not really stealing. It's just borrowing without permission. Perhaps you should walk down there. My, uh, my colleague here, he will walk back to the bar with you and show you the ruckus. I'll keep an eye on your house. Make sure everything's okay over here. Persuasion, I heard that there was a, an exploding scarecrow in the field not too far away. <laughs> I'll take persuasion from both of you, and whoever gets the highest, he will believe. Persuasion. 17. I got it. 12. 
Uh, stain. he believes you. He starts to put his clothes back on, and he's going to grab the medieval shotgun, uh, <laughs> i.e. the halberd, and uh, he is going to go deal with these problems. Uh, that seems like a good stopping point, uh, if that's cool with you guys. Uh, let's do final thoughts. Uh, Leaf, uh, yay or nay, you like or no? Oh, I, I like a lot. I've missed this. It's Very enjoyable. Good. Very good. Very good. Uh, middle Frank, Little Frank, what do you think? I think it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Okay. I like cool. getting back to my corrupted ways. Well, in this group, that seems to be easy. Uh, <laughs> Jason, a.k.a. Copious. Uh, yeah, Copious is like putting on an entirely different personality. So it's great to play that character again. <laughs> Uh, we have missed him. Uh, Jason, welcome aboard. Uh, sorry you passed on the Golden Warrior. She would have rocked your world. What'd you think? I loved it. It was great. I can't wait to get into my character. You're going to be a heartbreaker, man. Uh, heart, heart eater. Heart, heart eater. eater. Heart, yeah. heart eater and heartbreaker. Uh, AJ, what'd you think? Oh, I'm having a lot of fun. But I can't believe you left me standing right there. Uh, with the daughter right inside, I'm going to need my blue dice. A for good next DM. <laughs> definitely all, blue. You're going to have some blue something. <laughs> all, a good DM always leaves you hanging on something. So, uh, one of these. Not days, enough, I think, is what that's called. <laughs> one of these days, I'll learn how to do that. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and uh, wave to the camera and tell everybody bye. And then I got a few questions for you. Bye, everybody. Bye. bye. bye.